will start with the next topic of data link to control, that is point-to-point -point control. Point-to-point -point protocol is used where there is a communication between node to node. Just to take an example, let us assume he is a user. If he want to use or access the internet, city gadgets move. In such a case, point-to-point -point protocol is used. Even we can call this point-to-point -point protocol as PPP. There are some services supported by PPP protocol and there are some services which are not supported by point-to-point -point protocol. First, let us see what are the services supported by point-to-point -point protocol. The first service supported by point-to-point -point protocol is, it defines the frame format. It means, the protocol is responsible to tell how the format of frame should be. And the protocol is responsible to define the process of link establishment, whether the link should be connection oriented or it should be connectionless. And it depends about the way of encapsulation. The encapsulation is done at data link layer. So it depends about how the data from network layer is encapsulated to form the frame. That encapsulation procedure is defined or supported by point to point protocol. The last service we have is about authentication. It depends about the authentication between nodes to be communicated. That is how the password is shared between the two communicating nodes. Now let us study about the services not supported in point to point protocol. It will not support for the flow control, but there is a partial or a small mechanism for the error control where address handling for the frame is entirely not supported and it will not support for the multiple configuration of connection. Now, we will study about the frame format. This is the frame format. Every frame starts and ends with the flag. So, first field is flag. So, starting of the frame and end of the frame are assigned with the flag. And here, the framing is of the type character oriented. Already in the previous video we studied, variable size framing supports two types of approaches, character oriented or byte oriented or else bit oriented. So, the framing game PPP protocol supports for character oriented. Our PPP protocol frame format is similar to that of HDS protocol. But only difference is P2P protocol supports for character oriented whereas HDLC supports for bit oriented approach. Second field we have is address field. Address field is an optional one and it is Assigned with a constant value that is 8 ones and it is the address of broadband. Then third field we have the control. This is actually not necessary since your flow control is not supported and only partial error control is supported. Hence the control is added in the format and it is assigned with a constant value 2 ones and rest of the success 0. Next we have the field as protocol. Protocol will define the type of data that payload is carrying. The data can be either the user data or else it can be other information. It will not tell about the data, it will only tell about the type of data, whether it is a user data or whether it is the other information. The next field we have the payload. Payload is the actual data. It is the data. So difference between protocol and payload is it defines the type of data whereas payload actually carries the data. Then we have about FCH which stands for frame check sequence which is nothing but the CRC technique. CRC technique is used for error detection and error correction. This is all about the frame format of PPP protocol. Now we will study about transition states of PPP. Transition state data. So the first state in the PPP is dead state. The meaning of the dead state is the link is inactive. So initially the control will be 
that the dead state, meaning of the dead state is link is inactive. Once, if any node starts the communication, then from dead state it will move to established state. Now we can call this state as carrier. Defined stage. You can call this as carrier defined stage. Or instead of defined, you can also call it as detected. Now, after establishment state, next state we have is authentication. So, the second state we have as established. This is to establish the link or start the communication. Then we have the authentication from established state. The control can move to authentication state if and only if two parties are with the one. So it will happen when parties, those are communicating, will agree upon to have the authentication. And so authentication is optional. Then after authentication, if this authentication is success, then the next state is network state. So after authentication, we have network state. Where in the network state, network negotiation takes place. The meaning of network negotiation is nothing but how the data get transmitted, how the encapsulation is done at the data link layer, or it is known as network configuration. Then, once the network configuration is completed,